So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that because the question is greater than four lines long, right? So greater than four lines, which, you know, typically just means we don't want to read the entire question all the way through. We want to read it and break it up one sentence at a time, making sure to pause before continuing um, to make sure we understood what we just read, and definitely to write down any quantitative information that we have um, in, the, in the information. So 10, a group of 202 people went on an overnight camping trip. Okay, taking 60 tents with them. So I'm going to just say 202 people. And from those 202 people, we had 60 tents. Okay, some of the tents held two people each. Okay, so we have types of tents, right? So two people, tents, and the rest held four people. So we also had four person, right? So four people, tents. Okay, assuming all the tents were filled to capacity, right? So every tent that held two people had two people. Every tent that held four people had four people. Um, and all together, of course, we got up to this to the 202 people in these 60 total tents. Um, so assuming all the tents were filled to capacity and every person got to sleep in a tent, exactly how many of the tents were two-person tents? So the thing with this type of question is it really lends itself to kind of guessing and checking. However, because we have our answer choices here, I'm going to say this really comes down to like a process of elimination type of scenario, right? So process of elimination. So the most well-known strategy on this test um, or any multiple choice test is typically process of elimination. So what I mean by that is each of these answer choices represent two person tents. So when I attempt or I try out answer choice A, I can say, well, if there were 30 two person, so 2P, that would mean that there were also 30 four person tents, right? Because we're told here that there are 60 tents all together. So that would mean that 60 people stayed in two person tents, right? Because 30 times two was 60. And that would mean 30 times four, right? Which is 120 was the number of people who stayed in four person tents. But when I add those two numbers of people together, I get 180. And that's not equal to 202. So that's, that's the problem with that. So with that, I then go on and say, well, A is not correct. So let's try choice B. If there were 20 two-person tents, that would be 40 people. And that would make, uh, what, 44-person tents, which would be 160 people, right? Because four times 40. And that gets us a lot closer because we're now at 200, right? But still not 202, which is what we want. So choice B is gone. Choice C is 19. So if I had 19 two-person tents, that would represent a total of 38 people. And that would mean that I had 41 four-person tents. 41 times 4 is 164. And then if I add those two together, so 164 and 38, don't forget we cannot use a calculator on this section. Eight pl or four plus eight is 12, and one plus six is seven, plus three is 10, so zero and one. And here we go, 202. So therefore my correct answer here is choice C. There must have been 19 two-person tents.